Kabir comes from the root letters kaf, ba, ra. It means greatness. This could be greatness in knowledge, in size, in age, in wisdom, status, and so on. Allah is called Al Kabir. He is the greatest. He is the one whose essence is greatness. And He is greater than whatever you describe and free from any limitation. We have already talked about Allah's name, Al Mutakabir, which also comes from the same root letters. Al Mutakabir means He is the one that reveals His greatness and is regarded as the greatest, while Al Kabir means the one whose essence is the greatest. No one is regarded greater in knowledge than Allah. No one is regarded greater in power than Allah. No one is regarded greater in mercy than Allah. And no one is regarded greater in forgiveness than Allah. All this greatness only belongs to Allah. We don't own any type of greatness whatsoever. That's why we said when a person assumes greatness, or they thought they were greater, they have actually lied. This is why they are called arrogant because greatness only belongs to Allah. You only have limited knowledge. You only have limited power. How can you be the greatest or greater at all? How should we live by this name? One, the first step when we recognize that Allah is the greatest, we should glorify his name, Al Kabir. And this is done by saying and contemplating Allahu Akbar. Wa kabbirhu takbira. Glorify him with great glorification. Two, show humility. Sometimes you may think this action does not befit me. This is embarrassing to do this. It's not cool to say you believe in God. It's humiliating to bow down. These are all signs of kibir, arrogance. Don't worry what anyone else thinks. Allah is watching. He sees and hears everything. Nothing is beneath us. Never look down on worship as if it doesn't befit you. When prayer time has come, you have to pray. It's time to show humility and remove this arrogance. If you refuse, you claim you are better. Are you claiming to be greater than Allah? Try to be humble.